So welcome to part two of the Affinity Publisher little magazine, the zine, the hot dog zine. Now this is previously done in the in the hot dog zine, the previous video I've done in Publisher just the other day. But this is in addition to it. Now the one you can see on the screen is the one mass single master with the pages laid out the way you would the way you would print them. Now this is the US letter one, which I don't normally use, but what I do use is A4 pages. So I've set up the A4 page one um, so that there's two masters and two pages. And if you print them in duplex mode, that is you print this side first and then flip the page and run it through the printer again, you can print the other side. So instead of getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight pages, you actually get 16. Now here it is. This is the A4 page. This is the Master A, standard as it was, but you'll notice the numbers change. Now I'll put the numbers on here because what you do when you print this page on both sides. You fold and cut as you normally do on that center line, but you can also cut the joins where the paper folds over. And in the other case, you would have a blank inside page, if you like, where it folds over. But this way, you can staple, mm, staple the binding, I guess you'd call. There's a minimum binding there. It gives you that little, that little margin there. You get a binding. So there's just enough room in the center there to put a couple of staples, two or one staple if you like, because it's only a very tiny book. Now, Master B is exactly the same, only the page numbers, as you'll see, um, are somewhat different. Now, if you don't have the page numbers like that, it won't make sense. And hopefully I'll be able to show you that in a moment. Now, here's page one. And that's set up just as it was previously, only the page numbers are different. Now these page numbers are in the master, not on this page. So I've got the page numbers set in the master, so I can change them as, as needed and move it around. Of course, this is lorem ipsum text. It makes no sense. But you'll notice that the text is linked, so you can flow the text in if you like, from another document. So you could type your little story up and flow the text in. Now the reverse side of this single sheet of paper, it's a single A4 sheet, is that one there, page 2. You'll notice the page numbers, again, are slightly different. Oh, I've got page 6 there. I need a space in there. But that it's in the master, so I can't change it here. That's all right. I'll change it in the master. And there they are, and it looks like the text flowing there has gone a little bit funny, but that's all right. It's okay there. The idea being that you can print that page, flip the page over in the printer, and then print it on the reverse side. Then when you cut it and fold it, and then cut the edges again. And I can't show you that because I can't photograph it. Well, I could, I suppose, and I'll do that later to show you how you fold the book. You fold the book exactly the same as you did for the hot dog zine, shown previously and through that other link on Affinity Publisher in the, um, in the Facebook forum. Now, let me show you some of the settings for this. Let me see if I can find them. What have we got down the bottom here? Nothing much at the moment. So, the key to getting it to print correctly in your printer, because your printer will mess with the settings, you have to actually print one page at a time. Don't print all the pages. I've, I've got that set from a previous thing. But the big key on the printer I'm using is to print the print actual size. Now you can see it's put a white background in there because that's what the printer does, but it's nothing to do with the size of the paper. This is an A4 sheet, but oddly enough, it gives you the size. The printer is returning the size in inches, but that is A4, and it is the correct size. 
297 by 210 millimeters. But that was the key. You can see the text there overruns the white. Well, ignore the white because that doesesn't print anyway. But you get edge to edge printing. And when you print that, that allows all of your formatting and your pages to format correctly. Otherwise, it squeezes up and nothing lines up properly. Now, let's have a look at another one. Let's have a look at the sizes. This is A4. Now, this is the setup in the document, your spread setup. Now, I've changed that to inches so you can so that I can see it's 11.69 by 8.26, the same as it shows up in the printer menu. The letter A4 ANSI, which is US letter size, is 8.5 by 11. So obviously, these settings, you just duplicate that second page. Duplicate your master A, duplicate it to a master B, and uh, set your document accordingly. There's the A4 set back to millimetres, 210, 297. Let me just close those down to get them out of the way. There we go. And we can close that one. That's the big trick. You have to print actual size. And this size is actually A4, so don't let it reduce the size to fit or to shrink or to custom scale. Choose paper source by PDF page size. It's an A4 sheet. Print it full size. Now, page one, when it prints to the PDF file, that's how you print it to start with, print it to export it to a PDF, and that's page one. And you print that separately. Flip the page over in your printer, feed it into the document feeder, and print that side so that you get the page numbers in the right place and your text in the right place. Now hopefully I'll be able to um, take some photographs, take a short video of folding all this, and I'll add that to it. So just let me go and do that. There's the actual size print again. So we can close all those. That's a PDF file. That's a PDF file. And there we are back there. See, there's your US letter version. You duplicate that and add a page there. That's master A, and you duplicate it for master B. Now, I won't do that yet. Um, I may do it later, but I'd like to leave that for you to do. It really is as simple as that, and you get a nice little book. Now, let me finish this right here, and I'll see if I can produce a small video that shows you how to fold the book and what the end result looks like. Now then, second part of the recording, and this is where I first print out the document. This is the Hot Dog Master A4, double-sided. Now I've set, it's a black and white printer, so I don't need to worry about anything else. I'm only printing the current page, page one, because the PDF has both pages in it. Standard size, the actual size, that's, let me show you there. Fit? No, we don't want it to fit. We want it actual size and you can see that there. I know it's the actual size that I've got because I've made that document exactly that size. Now I'm only printing current page, that's that page there. Let me print that out. out of the printer. Now I'm ready to put it in and do the second side so I've got to undo that. There's page one. You can see there I'm holding page one. Now I want to print that 
on the reverse side. So I put that in with the cover side down. A bit difficult to do single-handed. That's ready to do this, the next page. Now there we go, we're going to page two. We're still recording. File, print the current page, which is page two. The actual size, which is there. Now, send that to the printer. printer light is blipping away there. There's the print job there. There's the original side. And there's the reverse side. Yeah, dog. Now then, let me minimize this, and we're back to there, that's, that's that part. Now the folding of this, and here it comes out of the printer. Now I'm ready to put it in and do the second side, so I've got to undo that. There's page one. You can see there I'm holding page one. Now I want to print that on the reverse side. So I put that in with the cover side down. A bit difficult to do single handed. That's ready to do this, the next page. You can see the printer light is blipping away there. There's the print job there. There's the original side. And there's the reverse side. Let's see if I can do this. I'll stop this recording. Pause that there. Pause. Stop the recording. Okay, now this one here, to get this right, you fold that over that way. The text, the main text on the outside. Hence the hamburger. So it's, you start off with it as a sausage. Now you undo that bit, just unfold it, and you've got to fold it. And we still got it on the screen. This is very rough, I know. And we fold it that way. So you've got a fold in the center. You can see that's that way. Now. What we've got to do is fold that over, fold that over that way, then fold that over that way. This is very rough. Now you've got the W shape. And you've got your front cover there. So you take this and cut along, cut along that dotted line just there. Now I'm doing this on my computer desk, not on a nice little work table. Now taking that in your hot little hands, you fold it that way. So you've got the star shape. Fold that around there. Make sure it's nice and 
firm, fold that around there so you've got the front and the back. Squeeze those there. Now you've got one, you've got page one is there, page two, three, four, five, six and seven inside that, eight, nine, ten. Now because you want to make this into a little booklet, what you've got to do is put a couple of staples in there to hold it all together. This is a bit of very rough book binding. Now you can cut that with your scissors, page one and two. There's another fold there. Page six and seven, page eight, page nine. Cut that one across the top, that one there. And finally, the last page. Oh, a little bit crooked there, never mind. Page 14, page 15, and the back page. There's your nice little book. And of course, you can trim that up with a guillotine. The kids will love it. They can write their own storybooks. So instead of having a single sheet of paper, you've now got a double-sided sheet of paper and a nice little zine. Recording. Now, there we go. We're back to our little zine. Master page. Master B page, page A, or page 1 if you like, and the flip page, page 2. Now that's using one sheet of A4 page, one sheet of A4 paper printed on both sides, side 1 and side 2. Too nice. Whereas the previous one, uh, the Hot Dog US Letter, is single sided, side 1 and page 1. And you fold, cut and fold that exactly the same way, except you don't need to staple the binding because it's one sheet of paper that hasn't been cut down the joins down there. So it will stay, even if it unfolds, it stays as one sheet of paper. Whereas the one I just created, the A4 one, if you don't staple it, all those little sheets of paper will fall apart. Now, they're numbered, so you can easily put them back together again, but it's much easier for you and the kids or anybody else you're showing your little zine to if it all hangs together. So you've got eight, eight panels or 16 panels. Hope you enjoy it, and I hope it wasn't too ragged. I must set up a proper camera so I can photograph things on the desk. Thanks for watching.